Set up your multimeter for direct current in the range to millivolts or less than one volt. Remove the thermal pile wiring connector from the gas control. Sometimes you'll have to rock the wiring harness back and forth to remove. Attach the red positive lead to the red thermal pile wire and attach the black common lead to the white thermal pile wire. Set your gas control to the pilot lighting setting and light your pilot as per manufacturer's instructions by depressing the thermostat knob and sparking the igniter. You'll know the pilot is lit as the voltage will start to climb. Continue to hold down the gas control's thermostat knob until maximum voltage is reached. This may take up to three minutes. A healthy thermal pile in an open circuit test will read anywhere from 650 to 850 millivolts and ideally somewhere in between. Most thermal piles require service or replacement if the open circuit test reads under 400 millivolts. This spec can be verified in your water heater's service manual. A low voltage in most cases requires a replacement thermal pile, but a plug pilot tube or a thermal pile which is improperly placed or set in the pilot flame can lead to low voltage as well. If your thermal pile passes the voltage test and your pilot still won't stay lit, you may have a trip thermal switch temperature cutoff switch, or a faulty gas control. Hi guys, thanks for checking out my video. If you aren't familiar with my channel, I basically make how-to videos that are trades related on my spare time. If this video helped you out, subscribing, liking, or commenting on the video would be greatly appreciated. Thanks, and we'll see you on the next one.